Hello there, dear viewer, and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jacob Hack, I'm your host, and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This channel is about to hit 35,000 subs, and I know who I have to thank for that, and it's all of you. 35,000 subs is just, it's, it's a pretty big number for me, so thank you. I also wanna say thank you to all you patrons who have been supporting me, even through the whole C19 thing. Thank you so much for that. Now, in this video, we're gonna have a look at tracking app sales and price drops which is basically the same thing. Why am I saying the same thing twice? Well, there's also this thing where people ask me, whenever I feature an app in one of my videos, people ask me about the sale history of that app. Well, there is a way of actually kind of predicting when an app sale will happen based upon its history. So where do you find that information? Well, we'll have a look at that too. Now, the first site I want to talk about is App Kaiju. It's made by Tim Webb, who also runs Discord.com, my most favorite music app blog. Now, App Kaiju has been super helpful for me, especially since I'm doing so much research for all of my lists that I make for my channel. And it's really, really good because I get to check up on an app's update history and sale history and anything like that. So basically, App Kaiju is just this big app directory that keeps tracks of apps. And if we look right here, we can see that it has a sales page. And so if we select that, we'll be able to see the current sale. Now, sometimes the site can be a little bit slow to update because right now when I'm recording this, Moog is actually putting out a lot of their apps for free. And that includes apps like Model 15 and even Animoog. Well, I can't see them in the list right now, but yeah, it does have an app sales directory. But what am I talking about when I'm talking about history? Well, here is where you get to a really useful feature. So if we, for instance, go in and check the history for Velvet Machine here, an app that I actually did somewhat review in my FX list for 2020. Well, let's open this up by tapping it. And as soon as the page is open, I'm gonna show you something right down here at the bottom of the page. Here we can see its app history, meaning we can see when it was released back in October 16th, 2020, what the price was, and then we can see a price increase in October, a price drop in November, a price increase in December, and then an update in December, and it keeps on going. Now, admittedly, the history here is very, very short, but it is a rather new app. If we, for instance, go and check something like Korg Gadget, and we scroll down to the bottom, we can see that it says show more here. So if we press that, then the list becomes way longer than the one for Velvet Machine because this one has been out for a long time. Now, there is something a little bit annoying here. So Tim Webb, if you're listening, I would really love to see what's down here. Now I'm browsing this on my iPad, so maybe you can browse this uh, on a desktop computer, but I can see that there is actually an update icon here. It's just that I can't get past this. I can't scroll down there. So it would be nice to see the whole history. Well, here we can clearly see its history. And when you have information like this, you can actually look at all of the price drops and see when they happened and use that information to predict when it'll happen again. And as we can see here, this app has had consistent updates and consistent price drops and price increases. Now, if we look closely here, we can see that an update might drop and then we have a price drop and then an update drops and a price drop and an update drops and a price drop. And it just keeps on going like that. So, so if you want to go get Core Gadget, then if you keep an eye out for the next update, then it will probably go on sale either that day or right after that update. Now, there are other ways of keeping track on it, but I wanted to show you App Kaiju first. It's a disguise. I wanna show you these two links here. The first one is App Sliced. Well, and right here we can see that Moog has their stuff out for free. And if we keep going down here, we can see other free apps. And the second one is iOS Snoops. Now this site looks kind of like the uh, App Sliced one. And we, as you can see, we can see the Moog stuff first here. And if we scroll down, we can pretty much see the same apps. It almost looks as if they're reading the same stuff. Now I've seen references to these two sites 
a lot whenever I'm asking around on the internet about tracking app sales, because a lot of people seem to like these sites. Both links have been set up to track apps for both iPad and iPhone that might be free or going down in price. So if you keep checking in on these links, you'll keep finding deals. Another thing you can also do is to keep track on forums and, and groups online because the community is really good at keeping track of what's on sale. If you ask a question, is there anything on sale? You'll get bombarded with answers and links and yeah, they're just great like that. And keep track of all the various music app blogs out there because whenever there's a huge sale like around holidays and black friday and you know similar events like that well they always do these extra postings where they list all of the apps that they can find that are on sale or free at the moment now this is how i do it and one thing i'm wondering is are there any sites out there that will actually email you with a list or something that you can track that way? Then please tell all of us reading the comment section down there. Oh, by the way, I don't know if there are any sites that will actually track in-app purchase sales. That's something I've been struggling with. I, I haven't been able to find that information. If you know about something like that, please comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, give it a th if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. If you want to help in a financial way, you've got Patreon and PayPal, and you can always find my music over at Bandcamp, or you can stream my music on Spotify or Apple Music and Deezer and all kinds of places. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Tracking.